All right, guys, what we have here is a quote from Duncan after being told that Macbeth has defeated the traitorous rebel MacDonald in battle. A captain, sometimes called the sergeant, is explaining what's happened in that battle, and Duncan is responding. And he calls Macbeth, oh, valiant cousin, worthy gentleman. So let's zoom in on this. Firstly, valiant. Says that he's brave. We, we know that. He's brave and honourable Macbeth. He's just defeated Duncan's enemies. He then calls him cousin. Um, a cousin kind of in this sense means basically any relation that wasn't a sort of direct brother or sister in Shakespearean language rather than the more um, strict modern sense of the word. So it tells us that Macbeth has royal blood. Both him and Duncan actually are related to a previous now dead King Malcolm. So they are related to each other. So when he says, oh, valiant cousin, he is a relative. Um, and it just makes Macbeth's murder of Duncan seem even more dishonest and deceitful and awful, really, when we think he's murdering his king, the guest in his house, and, of course, a relative, even if it's slightly distant. So, oh, valiant cousin, worthy gentleman. Gentleman has connotations of honour and honesty. And, and this is obviously emphasised here by worthy as well, and shows us that Duncan has absolute faith in Macbeth. It's quite interestingly that just a few moments later, Duncan says about the Thane of Cawdor, he was a gentleman in which I built absolute trust. He's just called the Thane of Cawdor a gentleman, someone who rebelled against him. So we're making early connections here between Macbeth and the traitorous Thane of Cawdor, the old Thane of Cawdor, um, with the word gentleman, which obviously perhaps foreshadows what is going to happen. In the link quotation box down there at the bottom, we can start to see some other quotations discussing the fact that Macbeth is a brave hero at this point in the play. But obviously one at the bottom there that shows how he changed by the end of the play.